and Margaret's husband was asked, if you could speak to Margaret, what would you say? And his response was, come home. I wish that she would walk through the door, but it looks like that's not going to happen. He has made multiple public pleas for her to come home. It's been over six and a half years now. And the one thing is uh, I follow every missing persons case now, like very detailed. And over the last year, there's been a lot of people, a lot of people found, like alive. So that gives me some hope. I mean, there's only a couple of uh, outcomes and I just choose to pick the the best one, especially with the with the kids and stuff, because they constantly ask about about mommy. When I came home, I had come home from work. I know some reports had said that I was out doing errands, but I I was working that day. But I I had worked locally, so I was always in and out of the house. And. Uh, in the morning, I had went out and get baby formula because I guess we ran out, and she called me to get that. So, um, But that afternoon when I came home, nobody was here except for uh, my youngest daughter, our, our youngest daughter. And uh, But that, I don't want to say it was that she left, left our daughter all the time, but, you know, she'd take a walk outside just to, to cool off or walk down. We have, there's a goat farm down at the end of the street. Walk down there and uh, walk back. So I figured it was no big deal, you know. But then as time started uh, passing by, I was more concerned. And, uh, you know, there was her cell phone uh, was broken prior, like, days before all this, you know. And so she didn't have a cell phone, so I couldn't call it because uh, she didn't have it. And the car was in the driveway. So, I mean, basically, I I, I don't know. Either she walked somewhere or someone picked her up. That's the whole, all, all I could come up with. I know there's been some reports that uh, Margaret couldn't walk. And she had knee braces. She, she would ride a skateboard. She rode a bike. She uh, We were both active members of a volunteer fire company. Some of the reports that came out seemed like she couldn't walk because she had knee braces on, and that, that's like the farthest thing from the truth ever. I think Somerset County Crime Stoppers, uh, along with our volunteer fire department and myself, we, we uh, were offering a $20,000 reward for really any information that, you know, that uh, brings Margaret back.